Okay. I think you could do an entire, you will be have enough to do a whole thing of bloopers from me. Yeah. <laughs> really excited we're gonna start the garage today so what we're going to do is first I am going to just spray off any dirt and grime on the shed then I'm going to use painters tape along all of the different windows and siding that I don't want to hit with this light blue paint that we're using and then finally I'm just gonna use three quarter inch nap roller and we're gonna roll on the paint and get it all ready for Kelsey to do her beautiful beautiful stencil so we're painting the garage today. I'm super excited. I think something with with this is that I think you just learn as you go and I've never painted on a garage before, but again I for me I wanted to come up with the base design and then kind of duplicate that. So I'm going to just kind of experiment and try something new. Last night I was sketching just some like some basic flower designs that we could use. I don't want it to be so cluttered that you know we it's just too much. I want it to like be big enough but still have enough of a repeat of the pattern. Wherever I place this it will be like you know a puzzle so when the other stencils come I can just keep kind of building from that. And I definitely recommend doing this on some type of a drawing paper just because it will start you know the more you touch it and use it the more it's gonna get the paper will kind of get weaker. So again, like, what I love about this is that I don't even remember where I used all these paints, which is great because I'm pretty much basing the design around these colors and I love saving money when we can because paint is expensive. So if I'm drawing in my home, yeah, you can see this is definitely an ultra can of paint. What I love about it is, you know, being able to reuse this paint and I can just keep collecting it. So again, this part, you know, is just getting that initial base coat on. I like to get this the color on and then I go back over with paint pens and then I can outline if I want to, I can do design in there. So it's kind of, it kind of gives that freedom, but getting that initial coat of paint on is uh, what we're after right here. going into the second day and I went through, got all the stencils up, just kind of placed it. It kind of changed, which I liked. I, I didn't stick to the exact same pattern that I had started on this, the corner here, but I feel like the colors will be diverse enough and it's all going to be hopefully just tied together today. So we're going to start painting. <laughs> Yay! Since we've got the first coat of paint on, I'm gonna go now and sketch any like secondary coats, and I always, you know, say that that's like a different color on top of it. So I might add like a light purple to the dark purple, just a little bit, and then we're also gonna add a bunch of white into the flowers, start drying on top of all of that. So that's our plan. Out some pens and we're gonna start drawing them. I'm a fan of starting from the tip of the, the leaf and just kind of dragging it down to get that nice line. And you can see, you know, again, the paint wasn't perfect because I knew I was gonna go back over this, so I wasn't too worried about that. Just add this little swish. It's definitely relaxing. <laughs>
<laughs> Excited! It was fun to get into and you know it changed of course as I was working on it. Some of the colors changed, some of the design changed. I didn't stick to like the exact like template that I originally started at. It was more like okay this would be good for a yellow flower here. But it was fun, yeah it's fun to just try something new and I, I think I'm, ex I'm happy with it. <laughs>